Our next fighter making her way to the cage, Pamela the Heartbreaker Venegas. I work, I gotta work. All right, now coming to the cage, 20 year old Pamela Venegas standing at five feet, three inches tall. The 135 pound fighter is making her debut tonight out of Elite Training Center with Boss Rutan. She's got a nice background, four years of boxing, two years of Thai boxing, and two years of mixed martial arts. Got some food on your thing. You know, she's also had 10 years of traditional karate, but recently she started getting into Krav Maga. Krav Maga is awesome. Uh, it's not just great for mixed martial arts, it's great for life. I think females should, I think every chick you should probably take a week or two of Krav Maga just for the safety of their lives. Yeah, any sort of self-defense, at least just for the training of don't freak out when something happens. That's the big thing about martial arts training is learning how to regulate the body's natural yet ineffective response to danger. Yeah, everybody has their fight or flight syndrome. You know, you can panic. You want to be able to assess the situation and attack correctly. You want to... You want to you want to be safe. S safety is, you know, we do martial arts as a whole for because it's amazing and but it, it's 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 meant for self defense. That's where it's what's really it's there for. We put a show on for people, but you know, safety is super important. Now, despite us talking about martial arts for defense, her favorite martial arts technique is going to be the rear naked choke, which is not much of a defensive technique. Um, not usually, it's, it's more offensive, but if someone's attacking you, it's one of those moves where if a girl locks a choke on a guy, they could possibly finish them. You know, her favorite pro fighter, not the easy answer of Ronda Rousey, but instead the second most easy answer of Gina Carano, also known as Crush from the reboot of American Gladiators. And her opponent making her way to the cage, Yumi Yolomatsumoto! And now coming out her opponent, Yumi Matsumoto, the 37-year-old fighter, stands at five feet, one inches tall, making her debut out of Canoga Park here in Southern California. With 10th Planet Van Nuys Defiant Muay Thai Academy of America. You know, she trains over at 10th Planet Van Nuys with a very awesome jiu-jitsu coach in Alder Hample. Very good jiu-jitsu coach. Let's see, um, it's, it's a really good matchup of uh, somewhat of a striker against a grappler. And that's that old classic mixed martial arts pairing between the two. Someone's gonna hit you, someone's gonna choke you. Pretty much. And who's uh who wants to enter the other person's realm? Do you wanna do you wanna grapple the grapple? You wanna strike the striker? You know, it's uh you got you got that coin flip. You know, Yumi does have a wide variety of coaches though, besides Alder Hampel, uh, who's one of Eddie Bravo's uh, most vaulted students. He also has Michael Frausto, Daniel Gutierrez, Crew Pac, and Brandon Krauss. Krupak, uh, Brandon Krauss, and Gutierrez, all Muay Thai and boxing coaches, so she's not slouching on that stand-up game. No, she might be pretty well-rounded. Now, we asked her what her favorite song was listened to while training. She says she does not listen to music when training. She just stays fully focused on the training. Some people like to get pumped up. Some people, though, believe in this more mind-clearing approach. I can see that. You know, um, I, I, I guess for every person it's different. You know, sometimes I, I find listening to music actually helps clear my mind. I, I don't really focus on the music. It takes me to another place, you know, that, that I, I can't get to sometimes without music. So interestingly enough, Yumi's favorite fighter is Ronda Rousey because she has one good submission. She knows how to use it. But if she could fight anyone, she'd want to fight Christine Cyborg Santos because she believes that she's the top female fighter, whereas Pam would want to fight Ronda Rousey. Well, the... We'll is find brought out to you if by WSS can last. Shoes Style Selection, scheduled for three two minute rounds in the women's 135 pound division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a stand up and ground and pound fighter making her debut. She stands at five feet three inches tall and weighing 134.4 pounds, representing in Lee Training Center the, from the South Bay Redondo Beach, Pamela the Heartbreaker Vanegas. And her opponent across the cage, are fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist making her debut. She stands at five and a quarter inches tall and weighing at 133.6 pounds. Fighting with 10th Planet Van Nuys and Defiant Jim and MTA from Canoga Park, California, Yumi Yolo 
Matsumoto! Man in charge of the action, Adam Taylor. Here we go, Yumi Matsumoto in the red corner, Pamela Venegas in the blue corner. This looks to be an exciting fight, especially when you look at those eyes and the uh, little bit of showboating there from Pam. Fighters touch gloves and immediately Yumi is all over her. Now one thing you can see, people who don't train, who aren't used to striking, Yumi's right hand, she almost throws it like a jab, even though that's her power hand. She does, it's interesting. Very nice overhand right. Pam is throwing a, she likes to throw that uh, lead hand out no matter what position she's in. You know, I do like the movement of Pam though. Loose, trying to change the angles, trying to change the position of her head. A nice stiff jab to stop Yumi coming in. Yeah, these, gir these girls are slugging it out a little bit. Both Not only is Pam landing that jab, but that, that right hook a couple times, but there we go. That's a big right hand there from big Yumi. Big right hand by Yumi. <laughs> this has turned to a slugfest, and I am, I am super excited. Yumi's just biting out of her mouthpiece. She's even closing her eyes here and just going, I'm just gonna throw my fists at you, and one of them's gonna hit you. Hey, sometimes that's what you gotta do. I, these girls are great. You know, they're, their positioning is great, they're, they're slugging it out, they're not afraid to put it out there. They're throwing full combinations, not just one punch. You know, Yumi just keeps pressing forward, keeps rushing forward. If there's one thing she has in her boat right now, it's aggression. Aggression will open up things so you get people to panic, you get them to back up, and you get them to make some mistakes. A lot of people practice coming forward and you don't expect to get pressured. The last 10 seconds here, and Yumi, Yumi just pouring it on. Not a dominant round by Yumi, but a, 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 a good round by Yumi. A, a, a round where we, I think she clearly won. Both, both people were aggressive, but landing bigger strikes in the red corner. You know, you gotta think Yumi came out ahead of that one, but Pam does seem to be the more technical of the two strikers, just more tentative against that onslaught coming from Matsumoto. Well, it, it, it's hard with looping shots coming at you, you know. I think, uh, you know, Pam, Pam is game. She is totally game. I, I, I like her little Nick Diaz-ness of like, what, what, come fight me, girl. Don't well, be scared, homie. Don't be scared, homegirl. I figured if she just started yelling 209 and throwing up middle fingers. I would, I would have to get my camera out and double up on this footage because that would be amazing. I only own three mixed martial arts t-shirts. One is a Korean zombie shirt. One is from a local fighter here in Los Angeles named Rich Leroy. And the final one is, of course, a don't be scared, homie, Diaz Brothers shirt. That's the best, best t-shirt you can own ever. There is also my say yes to pizza, say no to drugs, and the turtle shirt, which is pretty good. That's a good shirt. I like pizza. I, just, I don't like drugs. Round two, Yumi Matsumoto in the red, Pamela Venegas in the blue. Yumi's pressing again. She always comes forward. That's a great tactic to the younger fighters out there. Press forward, be aggressive. You're gonna, it's gonna open up things and it's gonna just, make you look like a more, just a, a better fighter. There's one thing I'll tell you right now is Yumi Matsumoto does not fight like a 37 year old. She does not, if you told me she was 37, I wouldn't believe you. But these, these girls right in front of us, working the clinch work and striking. You know, very well rounded game by both of them. Yumi throwing big, big strikes, not afraid of getting hit. You know what I like there? Uh, Pam starts covering up the head, so Yumi just goes, okay, I'll just throw jackhammers to your body then. Exactly. Take take everything that's open to you. If the body's open, then punch the body. If the legs are open, punch the legs. Whatever there, just hit. So see if Pamela can, we haven't seen any groundwork, and it really looks like both girls don't even want to go to the ground. Even though Yumi trained out of 10th planet, it looks like it's gonna be a striking matchup. Oh, that's Huge a big right hand. hand. Again. I think she found. I think she found her shot. That's working for her. Is that is that right hand is slipping right in there? You know, people criticize both smaller fighters and female fighters for not having power. 
but uh, I'll send you back to when Sarah Kaufman put a power bomb on some girl and knocked her out back in strike force. Exactly. Girls can knock each other out. It just takes the right girl and the right strike. There we Pamela's pushing the action, landing some right hands, starting to put together some combinations, finding her a spot with her right hand and looking for shots. These girls are throwing. Yumi lands another big right hand. Yeah, uh, if, if she throws any more of those, I'm gonna accuse her of spamming. Bro, you just keep throwing the Hadouken. It's ridiculous, bro. It, it can get a little old, but not, not here. Yeah, I don't think anyone cares about spamming when it's a real fight and you didn't pay a quarter. So the one thing I see now is we, Yumi is visibly tired. Uh, in comparison to Pamela, it's, uh, she's a lot more tired. Pamela, well, Yumi's throwing a lot bigger shots and a lot more power, but Pamela seems to be a little more composed. But she has two minutes to work and get herself a victory, or she's going to lose herself a unanimous decision based off of pure striking. Well, the big thing here, Pamela has to do something different rather than back up against the cage. I think we should have been letting Yumi control the position, where they are, dictating what they're going to be doing. And uh, somehow she has to make sure she's either creating the space for her striking or being the aggressor when it comes to the clinch. She definitely needs to be the aggressor in the clinch and also in the striking. She needs, I think she needs to throw some more lay it all out there type of shots, not just little shots, swinging for the fences type of shots, home run shots, or, or, or what you need right now because you're, I hope her corner told you, hey, Pam, you're down 2-0. Go out and finish this girl. She's tired, go get her. Well, let's see what Yumi has left in the tank here as we go into round number three against Pamela Venegas in the blue. And right back to that right hand. Man, these girls are throwing. This is great. This could be fight of the night. These girls are laying it out there. You mean a little chastisement for grabbing out of that cage? You know, interesting note here, while Yumi has controlled the position and the grab and, and the striking, she hasn't been able to do much with those grappling positions. She's gone for takedowns and been stuffed each time. Yeah, she 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 goes to the takedowns, she kind of leaves her hips behind. She 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 doesn't have great position when it comes to the, the takedown attempts, at least. So here we go. Pam Pamela's still working, but she got her back against the cage, and these judges will score that stuff that way. I like to see her hit some aggressive. There we go. She's working knees and she's landing big strikes. That's what we need to see here if she's going to win this third and final round. It was under a minute. It's, it's now or never. I'd love, love to see her finish a combination with a kick to the head. I would love to see that. I think that's where the, the, you have to start going. You have to start taking risks. And every the round, the, the time is just getting shorter. You have to say, I got to finish this girl. So she needs to get off the cage, get herself some distance, reset for a couple of seconds, and make one last push to finish. And here she goes, pushing Matsumoto up against the cage right in she front of us. She needs to make space and realize whatever, whatever she's going to do from the clinch is not going to break the... I, I was hoping the ref would break him up right there and give us one last shot at a, at a possible... There we go. This is what you need. Make space and throw bombs. A good low kick from Venegas, but it might be too little too late. Very a good fight, ladies. That, that They laid it all out there, and I, I don't know who won. Getting a standing ovation from the crowd here on stage. Uh, in fact, over, we have another U of MMA female fighter, Luna Veroni, standing up, cheering on for the women in the cage. I think everyone enjoyed that fight here tonight, and how could you not? They're both winners to me when it comes to that. This is your amateur career. You want to, that, that's how you want to start your career. If you're Pamela, that's your debut. Put it all out there, you know, throw down. It's both their debut and they both look great. You know, that's one of the interesting things about being an amateur fighter is that not, it's not just training for becoming a pro, but in the age now where it's all being taped like it is right now, it's actually creating a reel for yourself to go say, hey, pro promotion, here's what I'm going to bring to you as a product. Exactly. This is what I can do. What do you want to do with me? You know, pr uh, promotions aren't just looking for fighters who are going to win fights, looking for fighters who are going to sell tickets, fighters who are going to create buzz, fighters who are going to make moments. And that's the big thing that fighting is about. It's all like pr promotion of a fight is all about what are the moments we're looking for.
Exactly, and I, I think both these girls have that it factor. They just have to harness some skills. This is the best dance battle this I've ever seen. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. We've got Pam, but what about Yumi? We gotta get Yumi in there too. This is a, this is amazing. And now we have a full on dance battle. The real question is, can they turn left? The real question is, will my phone record this? <laughs> <laughs> Well, waiting for the judges to score this fight, probably not too difficult to figure out who was the winner, but again, great performances from both girls. So you gotta wonder, at age 37, her debut fight, what's gonna be next for Yumi Matsumoto? It's gotta be fight and again soon. Now, tomorrow. Yep, pretty much. Well, I guess she could, she could probably even fight tonight from the way she's dancing right now. She's got some moves, I gotta say. These moves are dope. This is, from beginning to end, this is one of my favorite fights of all time. You know, I wouldn't have believed that Yumi was 37 until she danced. <laughs> A great fight from these two ladies. Let's turn it now for the official decision for Salvador Ariano. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for these two lady gladiators. Scorecards are in. First judge scores a fight, 29.5 to 29. Second judge scores a fight, 29 to 28. Third and final judge scores a fight, 30 to 27.5. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision out of the red corner, Yumi Yolo Matsumoto. Always put on a good show before and after the fight. Oh. Hi, Yumi, congratulations. How you? Yeah. Thank you, I'm doing fine, and first of all, I want to say thank you to my coaches. They're just my favorite one, and they worked with me for so many times. Yeah. Spent so much time, and thank you so much to all of my teammates, from Tense Planet Bandai's, Defiant Gym, and Muay Thai Academy of America. I'm so happy to be present here today. All right, good time. So, you've had a really nice home for that right overhand, but everybody wants to know, you're a 10 Planet girl. Are you upset you didn't get to go to the ground at all during this fight? Well, I could just need to work a little bit more harder on my takedown, and I'll be there, because I know I have a strong stand-up also, too. I have a strong stand-up ground, so I'll come back next time with more takedowns. So watch for me. Right on, watch for, watch for, give it up for Yumi Matsumoto! And there you have it, folks, a unanimous decision win for Yumi Matsumoto.